Team USA just played Serbia and Jason Tatum didn't play one single minute. Yes, not one single minute. And like the reasoning behind this even crazier and he was healthy, he said he was fine and ready to go. The Jason Tatum situation. Now on the flip side today, Grant Hill and Jalen Brown got into it because Jalen Brown, I, he said Grant Hill called him a conspiracy theorist, but we're gonna go through that stuff as well. Jalen Brown had his little situation. Now also he was snubbed from Team USA. After all the dubs they both taken, you know, this off season with the finals and everything they got going on in their personal life and everything. You know, to see this unfolding is kind of crazy. Steve Kerr has yet to play Jason Tatum. He didn't play him the whole time. This was his reasoning behind it. Steve Kerr says, Jason Tatum said mostly because of getting KD into the mix, but said there will be opportunities. He'll make his mark. KD hasn't played the whole time. You're trying to sit here and tell me Jason Tatum, an NBA champion, didn't play, <laughs> did not play because, oh, we need to get Kevin Durant in the fucking rotation. Kevin Durant hasn't played. Y'all know in the NBA when somebody's coming off injury, they'll put them on minutes restriction like, oh, um, you can only play like 10 to 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And they're playing Serbia, bro. Like, come on. I know they got Jokic and Bogey, but like they're playing Serbia. So you're trying to tell me it takes sitting Jason Tatum down the whole fucking game to get Kevin Durant in the fold. Come on, bro. You're bugging. Stop it. Stop it, bro. There's more to it. Stop it. Katie looked like he didn't miss a beat. The nigga shot eight for eight. You sat this nigga the whole time. Said Jason Tatum, if he was feeling sick today, no, I'm good. And if you saw like the bench clips, right? So look at him. Nah, I'll be sick too. I ain't gonna lie. Like, yo, look at this. This shit crazy. <laughs> this shit is crazy. And then, and then the meme just made it worse. Someone said, get that look off your face, boy. Ham bam his motherfucking <laughs> Hey, a bam of water, nigga. He tagged Jason Tatum. Then someone said, y'all was making fun of Katie shooting in the club, but he just cares about our country that much. You're welcome. Katie was going crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Someone said, make sure there's no trash up under the seat when we leave. Somebody said, like, the treatment that Tatum is getting is the treatment Jalen Brown should have got if he was on the team. That leads me to what was going on with Brown. Let's say it's expected, you know, they're gonna win. They have a loaded team, but you know, as, as you remember, Jalen Brown, he, he also got snubbed from, uh, from Team USA. So Ennis Cantor said Jalen Brown was the NBA Finals MVP. The reason Jalen didn't get selected for the USA national team is because of his criticism of Nike. Corrupt Nike operates like a mafia. If you go against their agenda, they'll find a way to silence you. Also, everyone knows that Nike hates Muslims. It's time to hold Nike accountable for their crime against humanity. This was the tweet that like he pulled up. It said, since when did Nike care about ethics? And this was in response to Nike founder Phil Knight says Kyrie Irving stepped over the line when the Nets player shared an anti-Semitic film on Twitter. This was one thing that went up. This was Grant Hill's comments. I think Grant Hill was talking about why they left him off the USA team, right? So this was his comments. This idea that there's a conspiracy theory. I always love a good conspiracy theory. Really, truly a basketball decision. And these are tough decisions, you know? You want to find the right balance and the right pieces on the court that, that we needed. And not to say that he wouldn't have been good. There's a lot of guys. You can go on a list of guys who are, are very capable and very, very, you know, very qualified. But, you know, for where we were, it was the right decision. Look how Jalen Brown comprehended what he said he said grant hill calling me a conspiracy theorist is disappointing i've been a vp since i was 21 years old i have a great understanding he wasn't calling you a conspiracy theorist he was saying that i know you guys come up with assumptions like he's talking about twitter people this is the reason Jalen brown got left off or this is the reason why but he was just saying it simply came down to like yo this is what we felt was the best product that we're gonna put out there now you can look at it from both angles of what grant hill said and you could be like, okay, like I kind of understand. I'm taking, I think anybody who watched this video would agree. You're taking Kevin Durant and nigga, if, if LeBron James was 60 years old playing how he's playing, you're taking LeBron over Jalen Brown. Facts. I think the only person that I'll be like, okay, I understand if you switch this out is probably Joel Embiid or Jalen or Jason Tatum or, or Derek White or Drew Holiday or Tyree, somebody like that. But they're low-key already filled to his position. You know, people started digging a little deeper. They had some other stuff come on. Someone said, Jalen Brown asks if being left off Team USA further motivates him. It's his response to that. Is this more of a motivation for you now? Absolutely. Are you, are you all fired up? I mean, super fired up. No, I got all the money. Just come out and improve. So I love it, honestly. People, even when his back is 2023. Someone said, if Jalen Brown's referencing the Olympics here, he mentioned how he wanted to join Team USA in Paris all the way back in October 2023. Um, I think playing for your country you know, is definitely you know, coming from my community, coming from where I come from, coming from where the majority of our demographic come from, having the opportunity to represent that, your community, your, your outer community, and the people that support you. I think that is a, is a part of it as well. So 
being able to participate would be great. We got Brad Stevens. So Brad Stevens on Jalen Brown get left off Team USA. Jalen's a great player. Jalen, you know, I don't think there's any doubt that Jalen could be on any team, could be on any Olympic team in any year, right? And um, but at the end of the day, you know, I think his approach and you know he talked about how he called Derek he talked about his own feelings from it but I know this about Jalen whether he has success and gets all the accolades like finals MVP or Eastern Conference finals MVP or if he feels like he got left off the team I know he's going to be motivated and hungry regardless that's what I that's what I've always loved about it then you have the players comments so Jalen Brown not getting a shot at making Team USA Olympics roster rub Melo the wrong way Dylan Brown situation with the Team USA. What are your thoughts of, of him being left off the team? I think he should have got a shot. For whatever reason it is, you can't make it that obvious. This man busts his ass. He works hard. He, he take everything that people say about him. He's not marketable. He's not this. He's not that. And he go win a championship and do it the way he did it. How he don't get a shot at the USA team? Well, you want to tell me he don't fit the style of play? That's not it. At least give him the, the respect. Like, yo, you a champion. You won. You worked. You played with. You played on this team before. You're a part of Team USA. We have history with you. So it's like if it's something that's personal, they don't like his aura. They don't like his it, the way he thinks. Give him the opportunity and say, you know what? We're not going to go with you. Here's why we're not going to go with you. And that's not to take nothing away from Derek White. To make that team is, is special. Like, I would say bring one of them kids off the guys off the select team that been part of Team USA for all of these years so we can show the rest of the world that we're developing too. Our farm system works. The USA select team, this works. This guy works so hard, he got a chance to make the USA team. That's the American dream when you really think about it. Right, facts. But Jalen should have been spoken to. I hope somebody reached out to him to try to talk about it and, and, and let's figure this out because there's no way we can be having these basketball moments and you getting penalized for who you are. That's the f up. I think it's a mixture of like, people don't respect them and they don't like them. I think it's a mixture of both. You guys can see, they basically benched Jason Tatum. Like when have you heard of an NBA champion sitting on the bench, bro? He didn't play a single fucking minute, bro. He just got one of the biggest contracts in NBA history, right? He didn't play a single minute. I feel like they probably would have did the same thing to Jalen Brown if he would have made the team. Right, so I, I think like maybe the players don't respect them, the coaches don't respect them. They probably don't respect their championship, obviously, but I also think people just don't like them, bro. I really think people don't like Jalen Brown, you know, out of the two. Oh, you got it. And then I think he kind of put it on himself, you know, from the stuff with Bronny, which he, he wasn't lying, but it's just the timing and context. You know what I'm saying? You know, the stuff with Bronny to his comments on other stuff, like it might rub people the wrong way. Imagine he would have made the team, he would have said what he said, and then now he's teaming up with Braun. Braun not going for that shit, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think it's a mixture of people just don't like and don't respect them. And but I do think Tatum should see minutes eventually. It's just wild as fuck that like an NBA champ with one of the biggest contracts didn't play a single fucking minute. That's crazy, bro. That is crazy. So yeah, y'all let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section. And um as always, it's your boy.